ஓம் நமோ பகவதே ராமகிருஷ்ணாய ஃபர்ஸ்ட் ஆஃப் காட் ஸ்பிரிச்சுவல் டாக்ஸ் ஆஃப் மகாபுருஷ் சுவாமி சிவானந்தா கண்டினியூஷன் ஆஃப் சாப்டர் எயிட்டி எயிட் பேஜ் நம்பர் டூ ஹண்ட்ரட் அண்ட் ஃபார்ட்டி ஃபைவ் எபிசோட் டூ ஹண்ட்ரட் அண்ட் சிக்ஸ் மகாபுருஷ் மாராஜி சேஸ் தட் ஷோயிங் ஆஃப் இன் ஸ்பிரிச்சுவல் மேட்டர்ஸ் இஸ் ஹார்ம்ஃபுல் அண்ட் ஸ்பிரிச்சுவல் ப்ரோக்ரஸ் ஸ்பிரிச்சுவல் டெவலப்மெண்ட் டஸ் நாட் கம் இன் எ டே தென் ஆஸ் தோ அட்ரெஸிங் த டெவர்டி ஆஃப் ஹூம் ஹி வாஸ் டாக்கிங் ஹி செட் Mahapurush Maharaj said I tell you my son you will get the highest joy from the master's name itself you will get everything from his name be it spiritual ecstasy or god absorption but everything takes its own time besides your household and you have your own worldly duties well i understand you go to some solitary place now when then solitary living is very fruitful as the master pointed out but this does not mean that you will not make any spiritual progress at all without that one has to obey the directions of somebody with all sincerity that is why the scriptures speak of placing oneself under a guru a perfect guru informs the disciple of the correct path he sets him on the road mahapurush maharaj ji continued what do they understand of spirituality we have seen quite a lot of such so called paroxysms of divine impulse that is not what the master taught all that is a sort of stunt for popularity that is rather a source of evil the master would say when you meditate do so secretly within your mind in a solitary corner or in a forest those who belong to a lower grade of aspirants are given to showing off their spiritual attainments they seek popularity why is anybody so eager for external expression that only betrays that such a man is not fully established in his own special path it will not do to be restless one has to get deeply absorbed in spiritual exercises one must strengthen one's spiritual attitude in one's own mind one may get a temporary enthusiasm by noticing somebody else's spiritual fervor but then one must remember that all such men had to pass through hard struggle all had to practice for long with diligence and then only had they the grace of god mahapurush maharaj ji continues as a matter of fact god does become gracious when one is sincere there is no injustice in his domain he is just to all he who seeks gets him his compassion is on all in fact he is only too eager to help all call on him earnestly and he is there for you but they have neither the desire nor will they make any attempt instead there is only so much of restlessness and complaint that they are not getting anything that they are not making any progress it does not all come in a day it needs introspection and along with that regular practice one need have no worry if one but does regular spiritual practice peace is bound to come let them but make some effort to see if the result is a fact or not tell him that he need not come to me now i told him everything necessary on that very day let him now act accordingly if he would have peace the attendant kept on thinking oh how very solicitous mahapurush maharaj is for every devotee's welfare how deeply mahapurush maharaj ji feels and thinks for them that is the end of chapter 88 om shanti 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 हरि ओम तत्सत श्री राम कृष्णार्पणमस्तु